Hey, what's up guys? Luther here, and today we have another World Cup game, and this time uh, we're going to look to rebound back from our loss versus um, FLCL against Poges. Now, Poges is one of um, one of the site's like top players, um, whether it's just regular OU or just, you know, all-around uh, jack-of-all-trades kind of thing. Um, he's very good at, um, at the game in general. So, um, you know, after after getting absolutely smashed by Chandelure in the last game, I decided to bring it myself um, for this one. So we got Chandelure with a bulky spread. This helps us live um, a plus one uh, Zen headbutt into like it's like a plus one zen headbutt um from a incineroar into or not incineroar sorry a cinderace um and then after i wisp it it'll live the next one so um that's just basically the spread for that um and then uh we got you know dual status chancy so th basically it's just like a hex spam kind of thing um hex spam plus dual status chancy and then we got knock on pecs and then you know my favorite um, sticky barb trick clef and that's gonna be able to help cripple things like opposing pexes and whatnot um, and then we just got grass knot on the zero aura to deal with grounds because it's kind of a, it's like a bit weak to riparian and whatnot so um yeah we got that and then just got foul play mandy with enough speed to hit the uh, jolly um jolly marowak so anyways uh we have it imported into our calc right here all right perfect and then we're just gonna load in and then hopefully we don't give a get a you know a crabby matchup but let me just check about all my user right <coughs> all right it looks looks good to me but anyways we're just gonna hit accept and then see what we can do from there so have fun oh my god what is that okay okay so the first thing i want to see if zero aura uh, is gonna be able to hit ga how much it hits gastro for I don't think it hits it for that much um, Yeah, that doesn't do anything if it's spit up, but we don't know if it's spit up or not We'll we'll get to that later uh, and figure out if it's honestly spit up or not But um, anyways that being said something that looks really really beautiful um, Off of lead is actually my clef if I can you know kind of like trick um, trick his his McGearno or trick is um, or her trick is Toxapex with the sticky barb. I should be in a great position actually. So that's something important to know. It might be sticky hold on his gastro. I I'm not 100% sure, um, uh, but we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Um, let's see. So what I'm thinking is like some sort of um, maybe it could be T spikes on this this pex, and then it obviously it's got to be a rocks clef. More likely than not. Um, like a, a Specs Magirna kind of thing. So that's something I got to watch out for. But my Zero Aura is really good in this game if I can just, you know, figure out the spread on that uh, Gastrodon and then work from there. Um, looking like it's going to be like some sort of Fizz Def Clef. Uh, so that's something to look out for. But what other thing that's amazing in this game is my Chandelure. If I can, you know, um, start throwing off Wisps and whatnot onto Gastro and Mandibuzz, I can start pressuring out with um, hexes, but we're gonna see what we can do from there. So let's say let's say it is um, you know spidef. Uh, let's say it's burned. Uh, whatever. Sure. What important realize. So it is doing a lot, and after rocks, he's gonna be um, he's gonna be near to a KO range. But so that's basically something to look out for. If I can knock off the the Gastrodon, I can start making progress with that. But um, Blitzel also looks pretty good uh, in this game. It checks almost everything. Um, I don't know if I really want to wisp the Gastro. I might want to keep that. Um, Unwisp so I can intoxicate, and then I also don't want to wisp the clef because I'd rather have that, um, you know, paralyzed and whatnot. But in terms of leads, I think clef is a fine lead. Like even if he goes into Magirna, he has no direct like blissy punish right after, you know. So I think that should be uh, something important I should watch out for. I don't really have, uh, you know, he doesn't have like a super bad punish for blissy unless it's like some sort of physical dragapult. But if it is physical dragapult, I have my Toxapex and my Mandibus. So that's something I want to scout out for before I do anything. But in terms of lead, I'm just gonna lead off with my Clef and hopefully get Pex or something. As he does lead his own Clef. Um, this is okay. I'd, I'd rather not have to, you know, deal with, because uh, I'd rather want this this trick falling off on something like Toxapex or Magirna, but realistically, I don't know if I'll get that chance. Um, hmm. Cause I don't, I don't want my Blissey going uh, and taking, uh, taking out the boots cause boots is really pivotal. So I'm just gonna get my rocks and see what we can do from there. He might just go for knockoff. He goes to his Magirna um, and I'm not gonna risk anything. I, I think he scouted for trick. Um, scarf, so he thought I could be scarf on this cleft, and so he scouted for it, uh, which is great because I think I think I understand what his game plan is now. Um, that means this this cleft is more likely than not a, a trick set, um, so that's really good to know. I'm just gonna go into my Blissey here, 
as he does make the Volt Switch play, and I'm going to calc that and just make sure it's what I think it is. Um, so, Magirna. Magirna. Uh, it is Specs. It is Specs. Okay, wonderful. So, we do we do find out that this is Specs Magirna off the bat, which is really great to know. And he's and he goes into his clef. I'm definitely taking a two-wave on this. Yep, this is absolutely amazing. Okay, okay, this is awesome, actually. Um that he gave the T-Wave on the cleft, but, uh, let's see. So he doesn't really beat this Blitzy well at all. Um, that's great to know. And I don't know if I need my, um, you know, need my helmet on the Toxapex. It doesn't seem super pivotal, so I'm just gonna go into my Toxapex. I'd rather, I'd rather, um, keep the item on the Blitzy, as it does go for a Moonblast, which is fine by me, and I can just get a free knockoff here. Um, no matter what he goes into, I think I'll be okay. Uh, we'll see what he does from here, but... If he goes Magirna and like you know it takes so takes so eh, actually I don't I, I'm not gonna make him judgment he just doesn't pressure this out well. Okay, so I want to scout for some. Man, do you think is it possible that this is this is a block set? I'm not 100% sure, and I really think it could be. But I don't want to go hard zero. But I'm just gonna calc it real quick. Um, see what exactly am I minus one? No, that's special attack. So let's see. Uh, what type of pecs he has. So, it could be Fizdef. Uh, it also could... It's not Spidef. So, it is Fizdef. Um, Toxapex. I'm not... I don't want to go into my Chansey. I'd rather go into my Clef. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Okay, because then I, I'll lose the Sticky Barbs. Which is unfortunate. But I think I'll have to... Oh, crap. Because if this is block packs, I think I'll be in a really weird position. But at the same note, if it is block packs, then I'm not really sure. I don't think it'll be block packs. But I'm just gonna go to my clef. Uh, as he, we'll see what he goes for. I just go for the scald. Uh, I'm gonna trick now, and we'll see if we can make progress on this uh, packs. But this reveals that he's basically not. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh, this is. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is so good. Okay. Um. Because this this packs is now. Um, now on, not timer, but it's like pressured out very, very heavily. Oh, this is looking wonderful right now. Um, but yeah, we'll see what it goes for. It does just, you know, make the recover play. But the problem is he's the, like, he's going down at a faster rate than I am. And I, I think what he's trying to go for at this point is, um, is a, it's a burn on my clef. So he, that means Hexpult will probably be his set. Um, I don't think he's knock either. Because if he was knock, he would have gone for it on my pecs. Possibly. So he is probably toxic? But if he was toxic, and I don't think he's toxic either then. Because if he was toxic, then he would have clicked that um, in order to get the hex activation instead of scald. Okay, I'm just going to move last again. We'll see We'll see exactly what, what's going on. This has got a toxic spike. So he has toxic spikes, um, which is something to look out for. But what does that mean? Like, the only thing that hits... Nothing on my team actually gets hit by Toxic Spikes. Like, literally zero. Um, unless something gets knocked, which I won't let that happen. So, it's going to be Scald, Recover, Toxic Spikes, and then um, probably some sort of... Some sort of... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, a Haze set, maybe? So, I'm thinking I'm thinking my Blissey should wall this. And I can just get up a T-Wave. Yep, perfect. And so, I'm just going to uh, throw off a T-Wave. And honestly, I think we can just outstall I'll stall him this game. Um, does make the cleft play, which is whatever. Nothing uh, that doesn't really bother me. I'm just gonna go um, into my pecs. So I, I want to limit the activation of hex on my cleft as long as possible. Um, as it does make the play back to his um, pecs. And at this, honestly, I'm just never gonna click uh, knock off with my pecs because it's better to not do so. Yeah. So I'm just gonna make the play, and I'm, I, I think I can just stall him out because. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm just gonna throw off a seismic toss or whatever. As it does go into his clef. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna make the toxic X play. Like, I don't think it makes a difference because he's not going for knockoff. So I don't think he has knockoff. He has wish. Interesting. Um, I'm just gonna make the play to my Blissey. Uh, it covers a wish to like McGearn or something. It makes a play to toxic X. Um, I can just you know move back and forth between between uh, Blissey and Toxapex, and I'm not pressured at all to do anything about that. Um, 
Yeah, I, I think that's fine. Um, because he's he's losing a lot of scald PP. Uh, just T wave here, whatever. Yep. I'm. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll just stop just in case. You know, I just keep it a little healthy for Dragon Pulled if I can. Um, so it's more likely to not. What is his last move? I don't know what his last move is though. Okay, it makes the play to Pex. I'll, I'll just T wave again. Like I lose nothing. Um, and I'll just T wave again. Who knows? Maybe I'm gonna catch it or something on a switch. We'll T wave like two, three times in a row. We'll see if we can do anything. Um, and maybe he switches out because he's the one that's pr uh, pressured to switch out, not me. Um. Yep, just does that, but I'll just go for T-Wave again. I, I really don't care, because I have so much PP on this, and I, I, I don't mind, like, taking out your Moonblast and taking out your Skull, so either way, I should be fine. Um, again, gonna hit it again. I'm gonna hit it a couple more times, because, again, I'm not losing anything at all. It does make another Moonblast play, but I don't care. I will still keep, you know... Okay, I'll, I'll wish now. <laughs> um, let's see what exactly happens. I'm not gonna reveal my Toxic yet. Yeah, I'm not gonna reveal the Toxic yet because I want him to think that he's safe against my Gastro. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go to my Tox Pecs and see what we can do from there. Yep, so at this point, uh, he's probably starting to think that he's maybe okay. Like, you know, as in like his uh, his Gastro kind of walls my um, Blissey. Uh, again, he's a good player. Uh, I don't know what exactly he's thinking, but I think I think this should be fine because he's the one that's losing more PP than me. Like him losing Move Blast is good because it basically means that my um, my Zero R has switch-ins. Um, goes to his Toxapex. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, go on between my Toxapex and his. Um, he, I think he loses, he definitely loses his interaction before I do. Um, does make the Toxic Spike play, but doesn't matter. Is it, wait, is he knock? No, no, he's not knock, right? Yeah, yeah, we, 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 uh, confirmed this. So, just go back to my Blissey. Um, you know, just toggle back and forth and whatnot. Um, does get the scald burn doesn't really make a difference um i'm just gonna go back and forth yeah like i'm trying to think how to make progress okay okay so he's definitely not knock or else he would have gone for it now right so i don't know what his last is it could be like toxic oh it might be toxic so that means i have to be careful with my chandelure and not just bring it in you know randomly um so you know, my blissey here as it does make a wish play um again gonna go back to my tox specs <laughs> like Okay, maybe maybe I'm not seeing something, or maybe I'm just being dumb. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for toxic. As he does go, yeah, I'm okay. Again, I'm never clicking, um, never clicking uh, knockoff with my toxic unless it, I absolutely, absolutely need to. Because if I do click uh, toxic with my pecs, um, what it what or if I do click knockoff with my pecs, what that means is that it, it has a possibility of knocking off his uh his barbs which i really don't want to do um so he should also know by now that i'm not scald um because i haven't clicked it once versus his toxapex so that's something interesting to know and i can just go to my um my blissey here stall out his scalds a bit more and whatnot um screw it we'll just go for the t wave we'll see what happens um yeah just make the play to clef let's go back to my my toxapex and i i do think i long term with this interaction and Oh my god, this is a classic SS game. Um, I'm just trying to figure out a time in which I can bring in a, a Zero Aura or something along those lines. But yeah, we're just gonna just make a yellow toxic play. Okay, he goes tox effects. Um, yeah, because like, he only has 16 Scalds and how many, how many ever Moonblasts? Uh, we'll just throw up a Seismic Toss or whatever. Um, okay, I'm just gonna throw off another Seismic Toss. Uh, try to keep this low as he does okay so again i'm going to save this a bit longer i know this is very stupid of me but i don't want him knowing that i i um that he walls me so i'm just gonna kaiser seismic toss okay i'm gonna toxic now come on stay in buddy stay in buddy let's go let's go okay so it might be aroma last on clef um but that's fine i just i just i just want to know what exactly uh, his last is on Clef. Because if he is Aroma last on Clef, that means Chandelure just wins. Um, because it, I don't have to fear like a Toxic or a Knockoff or anything. Um, so that's something important to note. Um, so we made marginal progress. He goes for an Earthquake, does whatever. Um, okay. I'm just going to go for T-Wave here. Maybe he goes into like Magina or something or Toxpex. Who knows? Does make the Clef play, which is fine. I'm just going to Seismic Toss and see what exactly this last, um, this last move is. 
is it goes for Moonblast. So, as of now, I don't think it's Aroma, but it could be. We'll see. It goes for a Wish. We go back to Pex. Uh, and then go back to Blissey. We'll see what it exactly is. But now that this Gastron has a timer, he doesn't have good switch into Chandelure. Um, throw off a two-way, maybe can catch a Mag or something. Goes Gastro, whatever. Um, I'm just going to toggle back and forth between my packs because, like, Earthquake does nothing to me. Um, yeah. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we'll go Blissey. I mean, I feel like in the recording, I should, like, skip this. Okay, 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 perfect. So he goes into his uh, Magirna. Um... You know, probably trick me, but I, I need to think about what is the best recipient of this trick. Um, like, maybe Zara is it? No, 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 no. I need Zara. Well, maybe I don't. I think Zara could be the best play, but like, because I definitely need this. Uh, this Blissey. This Blissey is crucial. I, I think Shandy might be it because I can heal it up later on like a pain split or something. Hmm. Man, I definitely think he's going for going for a Volt Switch, but like I can't risk it at all. I think I might have to go Shandy because it has bulk on it. But I, I think I think he's definitely going for a Volt Switch. But look, okay, let's think about it for a quick second. So like, Toxapex, do I honestly need the item? And I don't think so. But let's see. Like Toxapex switches in. Okay, okay, maybe I do need it. Okay, so Mandibuzz, uh, a need for the Dragapult. Eh. But I, but like, if he Volt Switch or Fuller Cannons, he gets way too much momentum, and I can't afford to let that happen. Um, if he, if I give him Clef, um, and we go to Dragapult, even though I do have Blissey, like in case if it's like a DD or something, I, I don't know. Um, but if I go Shandy, right? I, I, and on a Volt Switch, and I could be in a crappy position. I could do. I really want to make a Zara Aura play right here, but I feel like that's way too ambitious. I just go Shandy on the Volt Switch. I, I know he's going for a Volt Switch too. Yep, it sucks, but like I, I had to accept that. Uh, we'll at least see what type of Dragapult he is once he brings it in. Um. Okay, so my play now is to get in my Zara Aura as absolutely much as I can. Um, does Gastron Earthquake kill my Zara Aura? From Gastrodon. Gastrodon. Oh, I should have should figure out what type of okay, so okay, it's fine. So he goes Pult. Um I'm just gonna go into my clef here. We'll see what he exactly goes for. He does go for a U-turn. Um so it reveals that it's not boots, and I it also reveals that it's not lefty, so that's something important to note. Um at this point I think I can left my I can let my tox specs get, you know. Take, get its item taken. I think that's okay. Uh, we'll see what it goes for here. Um, let's go for another Volt Switch, which is good play on his part. Um, but I think he's taking more chip than I am. And eventually, if I get like a Zero Aura play right, I should be okay. More likely than not, he'll U-turn. Um, I'm trying to think what can prevent that from happening. I don't think anything can actually prevent that from happening. I want to kind of stay in, but like I lose my... You know, I lose my Magirna fodder, kind of, if I, that happens. Um, I don't even know what set exactly he is. I'm just going to make the cleft play. Yep, he does make a U-turn play. This, Yeah, he's playing smart. But, like, again, there's nothing I can really do to stop that. Um, so, Volt Switch did 58 or whatever, right? Uh, again, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go Blitzy here. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't think I mind it super badly if Blitzy gets tricked. Because I still have ways of checking the Dragapult. Um, We'll see what exactly happens, though. Um, yeah, man. Like, hmm. I don't think he's ever clicking flash cannon here, but like, specs floor might kill me. <laughs> Let's see. I think it, I think it does. Magirna. So we'll just say plus one. Yeah, Specs Flur does kill me. Uh I may begrudgingly have to make I can make a Zara. Honestly, dude, I don't even know if I need Zara that much in this game. But it's it's decent for sure. So I'm just gonna blissy, it's fine. If he goes for trick, good play on his part. Yeah, very good play on his part. He got me good. Um At this point, I'm gonna make a Zara play. 
because it covers the volt switch. Yup, and uh, I don't die from a um, uh, flirt cannon. I don't think I do. Is there a custom set? Okay, so hmm, I could. <laughs> I could die, so I'm not gonna risk it. Um, I'll just make a play to my my uh, my Blissey here and try to recover up if I can. Yeah, it does make a floor play. And at this point, um, man. Okay, I'll go back to my zero aura. We'll see what exactly happens. Yep. Okay, perfect. So, um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just go for a knockoff, um, and it'll help me deal with Gastro. Uh, and I don't think you're you're ever going into your Toxapex here anyways so i'm just gonna make a knockoff play as he does stay in and goes for what exactly a flirt cannon and that doesn't do anything that that doesn't do too much to me so i'm just gonna go for the plasma fist um yeah it does, make, it does make the gastrodon play which is fine um i want to make a play that covers the uh the magirna as well so i'm gonna go into my toxapex uh, and that should cover the gear fine um and by knocking off the heavy duty boots what it means is that it's still taking residual damage um so that's something important to know and earthquake should not kill me yep exactly so i can make a play to my cleft now um yep and and the good thing is now okay hold up i should calc uh so what damages have i seen so um i'm, I'm just gonna control f magirna so what damage has it ever done so it did 12.3 to blissey I mean, gear now. Okay, so let's just say it's whatever. So if it's timid, though, it is indeed timid. So the Magirna is timid, which is kind of annoying because that means it outspeeds my Chandelure, which is kind of a, a bother. But at the same time, um, it's good for information to find out. But anyways, we're just gonna make a play to my Clef here. Um, as he does make a play, uh, does make the play to his um. He's Magirna, but this is good information because it lets me know that my Toxapex is actually faster than his, um, his Gastrodon. But either way, um, I, I want to stay in and roost or, or recover, but I don't think that's the play at all. I'm just going to go to Blissey and then we'll attempt to heal it up on either Pex or Clef and we'll see what we can do from there. Um... Yeah, because I, I still want to see if he's flash cannon or not. Because um, once I figure out if he's flash cannon or not, then I can make decisive information. Just go for a floor. I don't think that'll 2 KO me. That should not 2 KO me. Um, because he is timid um, and he is at minus 2, Blissey will live. Oh, it's it's a roll. And it's not in my favor. Uh, I'll just recover. We'll see if we can miss. Okay, yeah. So, unfortunately, he does take our Blissey, which sucks. But, like... He's losing his, um, his flurs, but we're just going to go to Chandelure here, um, and go ahead and go for, uh, the Wisp. Hmm. We'll just paint split here. Um, it covers basically everything he wants to go into anyways, but, um, our team is kind of looking threatened by the Dragapult now. Um, so because it's no item, I'm starting to think that it could be, um, some sort of spec set. Interestingly enough, um, I need to start keeping my pecs healthier, but since the Chandelure basically just recovers up, um, I can start pressuring the Magirna, and this is going to be basically my primary way of dealing with um, with the Magirna. So I'm just going to go to my Clef here, see what it goes for. It does make the Roost play, which is fine. Um, I'm just going to Moonblast here and try to get Chip on the Magirna, and if I, like, you know, drop it or whatever, I should be good. Um, does make the play to his Clef. Um, which is probably going to wisp. So I'm just going to, or wish. So I'm going to go into my pecs and try to recover. So losing Blissey was pretty big, but he did get the turn right, uh, which kind of sucked a lot. Um, but I think I should be okay still if I can get like a status on this clef. Um, he still hasn't revealed uh, the last move, but we're going to try to see if we can get it out of him. Um, Gonna gonna moonblast again to see if we can do, get a like spe uh, special attack drop on Magirna and whatnot. I don't know what that last move on Clef is. Uh, honestly, losing Blissey was really big. Like I thought I'd be able to recover it up, but um, 
yeah it's fine okay so we do get a special attack drop which is great that means i'll live everything um we'll see what exactly his last move is and he doesn't doesn't reveal it gets a crit which kind of sucks because i would have killed if he went for flur but either way um makes a play to pex just gonna moon blast again try to get chip on this um so okay so here's what i gotta do from now on in order to win this game i need to bring in my my zero aura and click grass knot because um uh Gastron gets two ko'd now uh, which is important to know. Okay. So he's scald. I don't think he's toxic, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna keep spamming Moonblast. See if we can get this low or whatnot. Um. Okay. Again, I don't think I care about the T spike because nothing on my team gets hit by it anyways. Um. But we'll just you know pivot back and forth between Clef and uh, Toxapex. Uh. Okay, just make a play to Clef. Uh, at this point, I'm going to make a play to sh my Chandelure and uh, scout exactly what set he is. Um, okay, so he goes for that. Okay, it's Soft Boy last. Oh, that is so... I'm so happy I found that out right now. Um, but this essentially means my Chandelure is going to always be able to come in on Mandy from now on. Um, I'm just going to throw off a Flamethrower to see damage. As it doesn't get paired, which is great, because this means Hex is doing a lot now. Um, perfect. And he soft boils, but like he's gonna lose his interaction long a uh, long term. So I'm just gonna go for a wisp, see if we can catch the Mandy. Perfect, we do catch the Mandy, uh, which is awesome. Um, but we'll have to see where we can go with that. But I'm just gonna go into my packs here. Um, uh, I, I want to figure out what exactly the Dragapult set is, but the good thing is it's, it's in rate that it is in range of knockoff from Zero Aura. So that's something important to look out for. Um, does make a knockoff play, but again, I really don't care. Uh, just gonna make the double back to my clef or whatever. Um, I think I'll just go Toxapex, but who cares? Yep, it does make the play to Toxapex. Uh, okay, we're just gonna toggle back and forth. Okay, perfect. He goes into his clef, and this is another um, another opportunity to bring in my Chandelure. Just go for the soft boiled, but um, this allows me to just to ju oh my god to just go for a hex. Um, It'll basically chip this clef, and if he decides to stay in, yep, he's playing around with parrots. That's that's all on him for that one. Um, and this hex is going to basically be able to put in some work. Uh, Mandibuzz might get two KO'd, so for that reason, he might just stay. Okay. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Um, I need to get a status on this Toxapex somehow. And I can't afford my Chandelure to get poisoned if that's what it is. But I really think it's Haze last. But until until I figure out what type of you know what type of tox pack this is, I don't think I can afford making that play. Um, so I'm just gonna go into my my clef and piv pivot back and forth. Let's see if he's toxic last or not. So it doesn't reveal any information, but I'm just gonna go for a moon blast. Or we'll just heal up. We'll heal up to keep it healthy. Um, yep, as he goes clef. Now he goes for a soft boiled. I'm just gonna throw off a uh, wisps, dude. I want to try to catch that pex if I can. Um, it does make a wish play. If I want to get aggressive, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to get aggressive, actually. I'm just going to go to Clef, actually. I, I, I was going to make aggressive play and go into Zero Aura um, on the Mandy, but I don't think I'm going to make that play right uh, immediately. So I'm just going to go for the Moonblast. Um, try to chip either the Magirna or the Mandy down, you know. Try to get something going, at least. Just go to Clef. Again, I'm just going to go to Chandelure. Like, the moment he gets parried uh, and whatnot, I think I should be okay. Um, does get parried. Okay, I'm going to go for a Hex now. Uh, let's see if he goes... Okay, what does he do? Just stays in and gets soft-boiled uh, with the soft-boiled. I'm going to th try throwing off a Wisp now to catch a Pex, possibly. If we can do that, it'd be great. Does get parried. I'm just going to go for Hex now as he does go for Wish. And I'm just going to throw off a Flamethrower now. Um... Yeah, because keeping this cleft low is nice. Um, I'm going to throw off more flamethrowers because he's. I think he's trying to pee, pee stall me, but like it's okay. Um, oh, perfect. He goes into his Mandy, but let's just see what type of Mandy this is now. Because I think that's a bit off. Um, Chandelure to Mandibuzz. Uh, it looks more spit off than. Yeah, so how much is Zero Aura doing it? Is doing that much. He's doing quite a lot, actually. Um, I'm gonna make a zero aura play now because I want to force progress. So I'm, um, yeah, I think I'll go with zero aura now. We'll see. We'll see what exactly happens. As it does make a roost play, um, keeping this low would be huge. But like at the same time, do I think he's toxic? And I think he might be because he's kind of weak. He's not that weak to um, 
to what you call it. He's not that weak to uh, uh, Volcarona, so I don't know what exactly his set could be. But um, if I do land, um, I'm just gonna go for the Plasma Fist to be honest, or I can just go for a knockoff because this that effectively also pressures the Manny. So I'm just going for the knockoff. Perfect. We get Gastro. Okay, we have to uh, we have to calc um, Gastro. Spinef, um, knockoff did how much? So it's Fizz Def. It's Fizz Def, that means Grass Knight should always kill it. Um, 252, bold. Um, so if it's 252, bold, that, that was basically the knockoff damage. Well, it's not, it's, it's near bold. So we'll, we'll give it, um, like, okay, let's, let's just try to find the situation in which that was a max roll. So how much did we do with knockoff again? 26. So that, and then that's like 40. So we'll, we'll get 40 here. Grass Knight should always kill. So I'm going to go for Grass Knight, and that should honestly knock him out. Perfect. Let's go. We take that. We take that. Um, that lured him. That was that was honestly one of the best turns for us. So I'm just going to go into my Chandelure here. As, as, as I said, it's my designated way of beating this anyways. Um, honestly, he just might go for a Volt Switch, knowing how aggressive he could be. Uh, but we'll see. It does make a Volt Switch play. It gets a crit. That's really bad. Um, that's like super bad. Oh, because I, I think I might be in Fleur, Fleur range now. Either way, uh, we're going to make a play and go to my, my Mandy and try to see what he goes for. He does go for Draco, and that's Specs. That is Specs Draco. Um, so what covers both the Magirna and uh, my to uh, and his and his stay in? I think my, that play is my Toxapex. Yep, as he does go for another Draco, and now he's uh, pretty low. So what this means is I can get... If I want to get aggressive, I can honestly make a double to my Zero Aura, but does my Zero Aura die uh, from Dragapult? Because I don't need this at max health. Specs um, at, what? what is it, minus four? Yeah, so I'm just going to go my Zero Aura here, as it does make the play into his Clef. Um, and what this does is it secures my Chandelure right here. Um, yep, perfect. And I can just Pain Split here. I don't think you'll ever go into your Dragapult because that's a really crack play. I don't think you should, you should ever make that risk. So I'm just going to pain split here. Hmm. Okay, that being Specs Dragapult's really bad for me, actually. So I'm. I'm uh, I could make a hex play, to be honest, if I wanted to. I'm not going to, though. Just pain split here as you guys go for a wish. Um. Oh, man, I want to make a play on my Zero Aura right now, but that seems so overly aggressive. So I'm just going to go for a Wisp, see if we can catch anything. Doesn't make a Moonblast play, which is which is a fine play on his part. Um, but I'm going to go into my Clef here. Yep. Doesn't make another Wish play. But this effectively is preventing him, you know, from... Um, from going to Dragapult. So that's my entire goal. So I'm just going to go my Chandelure here, as it covers a switch to Magirna as well. Um... And then once he goes into his Magirna, we'll see what exactly happens from there. Yep, does make a play to his Magirna. Um, I'm gonna go for a, uh, I'm just gonna go for a flamethrower. And then depending on what he goes into, I can just make a play from there. So I'm just gonna go for the flamethrower. Um, he doesn't know what speed I am. He shouldn't know what speed I am. So that that's also very helpful. Um, and if he goes Clef, I can just you know hex it after. So that's something good to know. Um, I have to prevent his Ragapult coming as much as I can, though, because that's super problematic for me to deal with. Um, but every time he, br like, once I get rid of his Ragapult, whether, um, whether that be with, like, a Zero knockoff or, like, uh, ex like, you know, excessive rocks damage, um, I should win with my Zero Aura plus my Chandelure, but, like, losing Blissey was really, really big. Like, I, I don't know what else I could have done better there. Maybe been aggressive and gone Zero Aura, like, a, on a Volt Switch from Magirna. Maybe that could have done it, but I'm not really entirely sure. But I'm out of range of Floor Cannon, so that's something important to note. And if I get rid of this Magirna, um, I, although I don't think Flamethrower kills, let me see how much exactly it does. Chandelure to Magirna. Yeah, although it doesn't exactly kill, it'll put it in range, um, or at least close to range of Moonblast. So that means it can't really be wished up ever again. So something good to know. Um, 
yeah and if he goes into like his pecs or something i can always just recover up with my mandy so that's that's essentially the goal here um yeah so the the next step of uh progressing this game is basically bringing in my zara on his uh on his mandy um and if i can do that then i think i should be able to win this game but we'll see um we'll see what exactly happens from here on out I, I'm not sure, but I think a play could also be just going into my Mandy and trying to, you know, um, heal up my Mandy. But I don't want to. I don't want to do that on his Mandy because if I get knocked off, um, then I I die to Draco after Rock. So that's something important to look out for as well. Um, we'll see what exactly happens here, though. Um, I don't think he'll go Toxapex because if he goes Toxapex, then my Shandy kind of wins because it has no like he has no proper hex switchings. But we'll see exactly. Um, Again, I'm not really that sure about what's going to happen from here on out. Does give me Magirna. What is he going to go for? He goes for Voltwitch. No crit. Wonderful. Um, but he does bring in his Dragapult here. And at this point, I'm thinking about tossing out my pecs. Um, and I think that might be the play. Because his Magirna basically never gets wished up. Um, I don't know. We don't know uh, what his last is on Toxapex. So the Chandelure could beat it one for one for all we know. And Hex allows my Mandibuzz to heal up, but it also brings in his Magirna, which is kind of annoying. But, like, he's slower than um, 230, which is important information to look out for. Mandibuzz definitely dies uh, from Hexes. Man, I needed Blissey. I needed Blissey. Um, but we'll see. Um, hmm... I think we'll just toss out Pex and then go Zera and try to heal up. It might be, it might come down to a sack game. I'm not gonna lie, um, or like me dodging some sort of, some 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 hacks or whatnot. Um, I think I do toss. Okay, so let's say I do toss Pex, right? I, then I go into my Zera and then click um, click Plasma Fist or whatever, and then try fishing to a win with that. Because I don't think, yeah, you should never, you should never ever toss your Dragon Bolt. So I, I think I'm gonna go into my Zera Aura after and then click a Plasma Fist. And try to progress the game because I don't think uh, my Zara dies from uh, Moonblast either from Clef, so that's something other important to note. Um, although it does mean that you know, okay, so is Magirna in range? It should be in range of of my um, of my Moonblast. So he's at 18, so that's like 12, uh, like a little less than 12. So it, it's probably in range. Um, I'm thinking I toss my packs and try to go Zara or and try to win. Yeah, I think that might be the play. Okay, well we'll try we'll try making it. Um, we're gonna go zero or here, and then just click the knockoff actually because. Um, nah, no, no, no. I'm just gonna go for plasma fist. Maybe he'll go pex. I, I, I don't know, hundred percent. Um. Again, you should never toss this out, or else you just lose the chandelure. I'll just go for a Plasma Fist. Yeah, we'll just go for a Plasma Fist and try to catch a Pex if we can. Um, if he loses his Clef, then he kind of loses to my Clef. Um, so I don't think... Oh, I bet he's really thinking about what to toss out and what not to. But I don't think he should ever toss out Pult. I don't think Pult is ever the play. Oh my god. I don't think he'll ever toss Pult. What if he does toss Pult? I kind of lose. Actually, do I? Because does uh, Plasma Fist... Uh, Plasma Fist. Hold up. Zara Aura. Dragapult. Does it put him in range of rocks after? No, it doesn't. So I could lose. I'm just gonna be a Plasma Fist play. I don't think you'll ever toss this Dragapult. Because if you do, again, you lose the Chandelure. Long term. Yeah. So, um... Perfect, perfect. We do catch the packs, which is insane, insane. Um, okay, we're just gonna go for the plasma fist again as he tosses me gear down. And now, uh, now packs is low, which is absolutely awesome for us. Um, he goes into clef. Oh my god, I, I can't let in, I can't let in the dragapult. Uh, but does my clef die? Does my clef fable die? From specs hex. Uh, sp choice specs. Nope, choice specs. 
no, not that. Whatever. So I don't die, which is good. Oh, my timer's low as hell. I'm just gonna go my clef and uh, you know, try to stall him out. Is he just go for a wish? I'm just gonna try to get back some um, uh, some uh, what you might call it, some timer timer second thingies. So I'm just gonna go for a moon blast again. Uh, try to keep this pex as low as possible. Oh my god, I didn't even realize my tower was that low. Let's make a play back to Clef. I'm just going to move last again because I can't let him double in on my Chandelure or else I'm in a really bad position. Um, I'm just going to throw off a couple Moon Blasts, which is whatever. Um, again, and try to recover a bit more time on my timer. Uh, okay, so I think this endgame might... It could down, come down to some sort of... Um, some sort of... Uh, okay. Man, I need... Okay, I'm just going to throw off... Um, Rocks, whatever. Yeah, does he make a play to clap? So I, I basically conditioned him enough that he's not going to go um, into whatever, into his Rackapult. Uh, but we'll see what he goes for. Does he just go for a soft boil? Um, I'm just going to make a play to click Hex. I, I don't want his Rackapult coming in. Um, and he could over predict on a pain split or something. Um, who knows? As he does make a Mandy play. I'm going to make a play to my Zero Aura now. Is that is that viable? Nah, no, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm just gonna slow it down just for a second. Yep, he does go for knockoff. Perfect. So this Mandibuzz is now two KO'd um, by whatever. Um, by uh, by by uh, what you would call it? Okay, so he is spadef. So I'm gonna keep going for a couple moon blasts, and then I'm gonna double zero or now. Um, and what this does is, yes, it limits my switch-ins uh, to Stealth Rocks, but I think that's okay, because if I get rid of the Mandibuzz, I can make some progress through that. Um, we'll see what happens from here on out. Oh. Because <sighs> if he goes Clef, I might just go for the knockoff. But I don't want Mizera Aura taking too much loss of health. Um... Yeah, okay, okay, that's that's fine. Does go for a knockoff play? That does nothing at all. I'm just gonna go for a knockoff of my my own now. Just stay in, it goes for a foul play. Why do, why would you Okay. Okay, okay. I think I think this is still manageable though, because this basically means this is dead. Um, because I can just go for this. Um wait, I don't know why I clicked that, honestly. That was a really poor play on my part looking back. Um We're going to try to heal up my Mandy now. Yeah, I'm going to try to heal up my Mandy now. Um, I just make a play into Clef, but how much does my Mandibuzz take? Even though I'm Fizz Def. Mandibuzz custom set from a Clefable. Okay, so Moonblast, I, th I think I'll be fine. I should live Moonblast, plus um, he's fishing around with Paras and whatnot. Yep. So the moment I get one, you know, non-Para, I think I'll be okay. We'll just hope we get one. I should be able to fish. Okay, come on. Please get parried, dude. Please. Oh my god. He's not getting paralyzed. This is looking kind of bleak, bro. Please get paralyzed. Yo, come on. Okay, perfect. There we go. I'm going to roost up again. Um, I'm not going to click knockoff yet. Okay, there we go. I'm going to click um, click knockoff now. No, 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 no. no. I'm not going to make a play like that yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll click foul play. Uh, we'll see what exactly happens as he goes for a wish. Um. Okay, so now that my mana buzz is back at full, I think I'll, I think I can still manage this game. Honestly, I don't know why I made that play with my zero aura. That was so poor. Oh my god, he was never risking it too. I'll just go into my, um, on my chandelier here. He does make a moon blast play, and um, I think he could, I think he might toss his mana buzz here. So for that reason, I'm gonna go um, and click the uh, the Mandibuzz right here, because if he tosses his Mandibuzz and brings in his uh, Dragapult, then I could be in a weird position. So I'm not gonna let that happen. The other issue, yep, perfect, perfect. Okay, sick. Because this means that his Dragapult can't um, can't come in and you know force a 50-50. So this is this game might come down to like 50-50s, but either way, I'm just gonna make a, the knockoff play here. Okay, perfect. As we get rid of the Clef's uh, lefties, which is amazing, I can just go to my Clef. Um, it's just go for a moon blast, but I'm just gonna go for soft boil of my own. Um, and even if he brings in pecs, uh, 
I, I think I'll be able to recover on um, a minus one anyways. Um, keeps making Moonblast plays. I'm going to make the Chandelure play now. No, no, no. I, I want to I keep this at full health. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, and I'm going to make a Chandelure play now. And we'll see if we can make any progress with this. Get parried? Doesn't get parried. Okay, we're just fine. I'm going to make a Pain Split play here. Perfect, perfect. And we get all the health back. Um, doesn't get dropped either. Um, and now I'm going to go for a, uh, a Wisp of my own because I don't think you'll toss your Clef out. And if I get a Wisp on Pex, I should be good. Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. Um, and if I get a Wisp on Pex, oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. This is wonderful. Um, and what this essentially means is that his Pex is barely going to be able to check. Um, anything on my team at all because he's taking so much damage um, and I'm just gonna be able to you know whatever I'll, I'll throw up rocks or whatever so I try to draw out some PP um, and am I how much do I take again uh, how much does my cleft take yo I'm so stupid for that uh <laughs> the zero aura play um, choice specs Oh my god, how much timer do I have? Go. Oh. Okay, okay. Choice. Specs. Um, oh my god. We need to click. Okay, we'll just throw up rocks again. I'll throw up rocks one more time. And then, and then, um, we're just gonna recover timer. Uh, uh, healthy poison. Okay, so. Uh, just gonna go to my chandel. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, thank god. I'm so lucky. Um,. Okay, now I can throw up a Hex for free. We'll see how much this does. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Why, why do I have Trump ears? Um, I'm just going to go to Clef here. Let's make a play to his own Clef. Um, I'm going to Moonblast here. See if we can catch a Dragon Ball. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh my god, that's so lit. Um, okay, that, that's perfect. I think we should win this game now. Um, I'm just going to try to keep this as low. Or, not, not low. I'm just going to get up rocks. Let him heal the full. And by him being able to uh, heal the full, that means my Chandelure gets a pain split freely. Yep. Perfect. Um, and we should be able to PP stall him out. Uh, I'm just going to go for flamethrowers. And the moment I get him in hex range, I can click hex then. Uh, but I'm not going to go for that until he's in that range. Does get paralyzed. Perfect. This is a free hex. Oh, this is awesome. And I should be able to... PP stall out the this pex right here. Even if it, I don't think it can even kill me. Um, and perfect. And we're gonna be able to take out the pex. GG, bro. Oh baby. Okay, that was that was awesome. Um, I'm gonna look back at this, and you guys can this. I mean, the replay is over at this point, but I, I'm gonna go back, and then I'll show you the plays that I messed up, and then we can look from there. But um, everything was fine until until the point where my um the blissy got tricked. So where was that? Um. Dude, oh my god. That was like a 180 turn game. I don't know how you guys are going to be able to sit through this. But, um, again, lure lure the gas or whatever. So the goal was to keep gas real low. Um, so that way I could start winning with my Zero Aura, which was Grass Knot, which is crazy. Also, um, before before you guys leave, shoutouts to Lopany Kicks for passing this team to me. Thank you so much uh, for passing the team to me. It, it like, I, I, don't, I can't build it myself. Um, but Lopany Kicks helped me out there. Um, but yeah, so... Honestly, I could have realized on uh, turn 55 that he was probably some sort of spec set, but me being caught in this in this turn right here was the thing that caused my entire demise. And honestly, if I had the balls to do it, I could have stayed in on turn 57 and just recovered there, and that would have put me in a great position. But him tricking me from turn 50 onwards really kind of screwed with my um, my way of winning. Um, but yeah, I think this was all fine or whatever. Um, and then I tossed out Blissey, um, and maybe it was... It was a play, maybe it wasn't, but like I, I think it's fine. Um, where did where did the real mess ups happen though? The real mess up was when I stayed in with Zero Aura. Oh my god, I I'm going to I'm going to. Oh, that was so ugly. I can't believe I made that play. Um, that was such a clicker play too. Um, it, it made no sense to make that play. Uh, let's see where. Come on, come on. Okay, yeah, right here. So like I don't know why I made that play. Um because i didn't have a reason to you know risk it because i i know what like i know i don't know what type of cleft he is oh well i i should have because i i had to calc but i was so low on timer that i didn't get the chance to but like if i even if he went into his cleft i just got in my you know i got in my chandelure again and then i i was able to throw off wisps 
um, because he's pressured to go in pecs and not into Dragapult. But like, I don't know why I made that series of plays, like this series right here. Obviously, it was good to get rid of Mandibuzz because that opened up my uh, my road for Chandelure. But like, other than that, I played. I think I played okay. The the other than that sequence, I I think I played all right. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a super long game, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, for I think it'll be Grand Slam next time that you guys see me. But um, yeah, that is it for pools. We finished two and one uh, in pools in what I think is one of the hardest pools. Well, okay, uh, maybe I'm giving myself way too much credit here, but I think it's one of the harder pools for sure. Um, and I think we finished in a pretty solid spot. So yeah, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time um, with Grand Slam. Peace.